Meanwhile, officials with the Louisiana Department of Health are reporting six now confirmed cases of West Nile virus in the state. Two of those in Baton Rouge, one in Livingston. As Local 33's Amber Smith reports, with West Nile in the state, some Livingston Parish residents are raising concerns again about not having a mosquito abatement program. We all know what that sound means, mosquitoes. We've always had trouble with mosquitoes in Louisiana for sure. While usually just a pest, with West Nile virus cases in the state, mosquitoes are also raising a health concern. It's something that we're all concerned about, and I think abatement would be good. After Livingston Parish did away with the mosquito abatement program a few years ago, the debate on whether or not to bring the program back keeps heating up. We were very disappointed as residents here because we have had a lot of problems with mosquitoes. and. Uh, I've noticed since they have stopped it, uh, it, we're just getting more and more. And I am very concerned, as my friends are. But just as the vote showed, not everyone is on board. Sometimes when the, uh, the people come spray around the neighborhood, I think that make it worse sometimes, too. An effort to put an abatement program in District 2 and 3 recently met a funding roadblock. They ought to find the funding for it. But District 3 Councilman Scooter Keene says he feels news of West Nile might cause some of his colleagues to have a change of heart. I just think that we ought to go back to, to spraying and uh, taking care of you know the citizens here because uh, we definitely don't want to have any West Nile virus and uh, cases here. For Local 33, I'm Amber Smith. Uh, one of the councilmen representing them there says he is considering going to the people in order to ask for donations to get some startup funds to bring mosquito abatement back to the area.